I'm just gonna give you guys a update on the chickens. Everyone's doing great. Red, get away from that. Red is completely introduced to the flock now. As you can see, none of the, ch the other chickens are picking on her. And look at Cherokee, his neck is all bare, and then there are some chickens that have their butts bare and stuff. And that's not good. So we brought them some tuna because they need animal protein. That's why they're eating their, each other's feathers. So what we do is we just open up a big old can of tuna like this. No gunner. As you can see, they really like it. So just dump it all out. And they'll eat that right up and then they should grow their feathers back. Here you go, Gunny. You have the nice little bird. All right. Feels pretty heavy, which means that there's water in there. Yeah, so yesterday we got 16 eggs because we forgot to pick them up the day before. So if we did the math, we got seven, day, seven eggs the day before and nine eggs yesterday, which means that not 16 in total. We only got six today. That's weird. That is not normal. Hmm. I wonder if one of them laid on the roost up there. This is the first time that we've got only six since we've all been laying. That didn't fall. There's nothing up on the roost. That's all right. Hopefully we'll get more tomorrow. So I just want to do a quick update on the chickens for you guys. And I'm sorry that I haven't posted in forever, like I said. And it's just, we've been so busy with baseball and everything else. School started and we're about a month
see the rabbit. I'm going to glad I got it. And yes, guys, we do eat them. Unless we are really busy in that week. In which case, we cut them open and then we will throw them out for the coyotes to eat. Alright, so this might not be the way that most of you know how to do this, but this is how I learned. What I do is right here at the back of the neck. I'm gonna make a small cut right there. From there, I should be able to get under his skin and just peel. I wish you guys could feel how soft this was. It is crazy soft. Get all that off. Okay, now that you got pretty much everything done, I got the head off, I got all the skin and most of his organs out. I need to get the rest of the organs out. But now, all we gotta do is break the legs at the joint. Okay, now you just cut the skin in between the joints. Okay, now that I got those top two done, I'm going to open this up a little bit. I'm going to cut open his rib cage into his heart and lungs. Because with rabbits, they're separated with a membrane. Their heart and lungs are higher up than the rest of their organs in that little separated part. Okay, now that I got those out, I'm going to kind of tear that membrane out because it's just a bunch of tough stuff and then cut the sides up to the meat. See, like that, there's just a flap of tissue. Okay, now just do the other side. Okay, let me make sure there's no organs left. As you can see right here, I left some, so I gotta get those out. Break that right there. Now I could get all these organs right here. Alright guys, that's pretty much it. Now you just gotta wash them out with a hose or just running water. And season them up, throw them on the grill. It's pretty good. I don't know how to turn the camera off. Hmm. Alright, I'll just go wash this and then turn the camera off. Ooh. See you guys right now. Alright, well, I will see you guys later. I hope you have a good one and bye-bye.